Hey guys, how's it going? Heather Lynn from Holy Fit here. I've got your Holy Fit daily sweat here. So what that is, is just a short workout you can do at any time during the day when you have time to do it. it should only take you anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes to complete these workouts, so just something short. You're gonna go for intensity so you get the most out of it, but always go for proper form. And if you notice that you're feeling anything in your joints or you're feeling it where you know you should not be feeling it, you modify or you take a break. So, for today, you're just going to warm up for a little bit. So, if you've got a stationary bike or if you want to go for a quick little walk to warm up, you could do that. But if not, you can do some of these moves that I'm doing here. And it's just to get your body a little bit warmer and looser and prepared for some physical activity. So, you should warm up anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes to make sure that you're not going to injure yourself. So, once you've done that, here is your workout. So you're gonna do three rounds in total. I call this the dirty 30 because you're gonna be doing 30 reps of everything. So you're gonna start with 30 jump squats. So a jump squat, you squat down, you jump up, you land really, really soft, you sink down into that squat. So from the side, you're jumping up, send the hips back so the knees are staying over the ankles and you're not feeling it in your knees. If you don't like to jump, squat down, come up on the toes, just like you're gonna leave the ground, but you don't actually leave the ground. So that's still gonna give you a good cardio effect. So 30 of those. If your heart rate's really high, move around a little bit, let it settle a little bit before you move on to the next exercise, which is 30 push-ups. So just regular push-ups, 30 of them. You can have your knees down on the ground if you like. Make sure you're keeping your abs super, super tight. Then you're gonna come onto your back. You're gonna put your hands underneath your hips and you're gonna do 30 leg lowers. So rest your head on the mat, lower the legs down as low as you can, come back up. If you start to feel your back, you've gone too low. If you wanna do singles, it looks like this. So count each one as a single rep. So that'd be one, two, all the way up to 30, okay? So 30 of those. Then you're gonna do a glute bridge. So still on your back, heads resting, Lift and lower. So you lift up, squeeze your butt tight, come down, gently touch the floor, lift back up. 30 of those. And then finally, 30 high knees. So you're gonna get back up onto your feet, and you go one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 30. So you wanna get those knees up to hip height, low impact. You can do it without any impact at all. Do 30 of those, and then that's it. So that was one round. You're gonna do three rounds in total. So take breaks when you need to. If you start to fall apart with your form, definitely take a little break, reset, come back to it. There's no rush to get through it. It's more important to have proper form so you don't injure yourself. And then when you're done, you want to move around while the heart rate settles. Let it come back down to a nice comfortable level. And then you're going to stretch. So grabbing one ankle, soften the supporting knee. You want to hold your stretches. 20 to 30 seconds minimum, and make sure you're not skipping your stretches. Hamstring stretch, you're gonna send the weight through the heel of the bent leg, nice stretch up the back of the leg. So stretching is super important to help your body start the recovery process and to also prevent injury. And then you're gonna open up the chest. And there you go. So nice short workout. Going for intensity and proper form is a must. If you start to fall apart, you just take breaks whenever you need to. You can do this anytime, anywhere, no equipment needed, so no excuses. Get it done. You're going to feel so awesome once you do it. Have an awesome day, guys. Talk to you soon.